Hi guys, thanks for joining me on my YouTube channel, JMAX Photo. Today I'm going to review a quick release plate that I came upon by chance. It's called King Joy. And if you stay tuned, I'll give you more details. Thanks. <laughs> Okay guys, this is the quick release plate that I've been talking about, the King Joy, and the model number on this is KH6251. Now you can pick this up on Amazon, and I'm going to give you a little background as to why I got into this uh, quick release where I bought it. But before that, let me give you a, a run over, a overview, sorry, of the features on this. It's, it's solidly built. It has, it's built from aluminum alloy. And the, strut, the release mechanism here is quite simple, but I, I like it. it. You do a quarter turn, your plate will slide, but it won't fall out. To release the plate, you hit the red button here to remove it. Put it back in. Your camera won't fall out because of the safety feature on this. So set it, lock it, and you're good to go. Now, this knob has a feature. Let's say it was in the way of something and you had to get out of the way. You pull out and turn, and you can reposition the knob. Nice design. Now, the reason I got this is because I'm venturing into real estate photography and I've been watching a photographer by the name of Rich Baum, B-A-U-M, on YouTube. And I think he's a master at his work, at his craft. And he gave a video tip on building a pole to take exterior shots. Now this is a painter's pole and it's an 8 foot pole that extends to 16 feet. And he built a rig uh, to put his camera, a A6000, a Sony A6000 on. So, I'm building my pole and decided to work with this. The reason is I like the broad base of this and the base for the camera. Now let me show you the part that will go with this. This is the homemade as it were contraption that Rich came up with ingenious it's just a piece of PVC pipe with a male adapter and a galvanized cap which he which is bored and or drilled and a 3 8 bolt is added with a nut this end will accept the the pole and again it goes from 8 feet to 16 feet so this is how we would attach it so that's it the camera would come in on here tighten down and this isn't going anywhere but the sound you hear the rattling you hear is this middle piece right now but this is going to be a solid setup for me uh, the other feature that I like about it is the, the level the fluid level that you have here to, to level the pole if you have it attached to something firm and 
it even can be level from looking upwards underneath if you see here it has the two levels that can be viewed from below so I'd like for you to stay tuned and I'll introduce you to my project pole photography I'll leave a link to Richard's uh, Rich Baum's uh, video link on his poll and, and his explanation on it but I wanted to introduce you to this plate it's inexpensive it's only $23.99 on Amazon and believe me this thing is solid so please subscribe give me a thumbs up uh, and I'll be following up with my poll build for real estate photography so thanks for tuning in and please come back and visit my YouTube channel thank you